five yard line. They all stretched arms, you know, essentially on the uh, passes straight up the field. Here's Mark Max pass on a third down, completes it to Dillon. He gets away from one man, midfield, 35. Still on his speed, run out, uh, finally run, uh, run down at the 24 yard line by Bob Hart. I think he did a good job just to get away from the initial attack where he made them hit for a loss. Davis at the 30-yard line. They're going for a quarterback. 
Uh, <laughs> right, meet him in a dark alley. Uh, uh, third and a long seven for the catch as Martin drops straight back to pass. Fires up field complete. To, uh, Number 
second and six. Goes to the Badger's side. The 11-yard line. The block yet around that comment. Out of the wing tee off and McClain or Hermit. That's it. The 86 to the near side. Again, the center up the middle. Gets uh, really his blocking got in his way. That time as he goes inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Then minus Trevor Waves. I went in, I went to the department store and bought off the Maybelline run. I mean, I'm made up. I'm ready for the two. Third down and four at the nine-yard line. Here's the give around the right side. Tom Miller's second effort goes to about the seven-yard line. It's going to be third down and four. Tom Miller's second effort goes to about the seven-yard line. It's going to be third down and four. Tom Miller's second effort goes to about the seven-yard line. It's going to be shy of a first down. Inside the five-yard line. Lafayette has held. He called me. Where they started. He came up about a foot short, guys. See where the football's at? Yeah, just over the five-yard line. A foot short. All right, it's going to take another huge defensive effort to get the ball back now. So close yet, so far away. The Wildcats. Counting on the defense now to come through. Brunori out across the right side to about the nine-yard line. And penalty markers go down. And I believe we have a late hit call on one of the Wildcats. Andre Kennebrew may have been the guilty party. He's out here in the second half, so they may have the um, majority of their timeouts remaining. And it's getting down to the time to start using them. With the penalty, first and a foul against the Cats moves in up front to the 24-yard line. First and 10 for Lafayette, their own 24. Leading 14 to 7 with 421 to go. The clock running. Here's Novak on the quarterback keeper. Spins out across the 30-yard line before he's brought down. A little arm tackling that time by the Wildcats. Uh, over there making the stop was number 32, Mike Jones. On a fourth and three, Gatehouse comes to the near side now. Switching to twin setbacks behind Novak, the quarterback. Here's the give. Benori out across the 31 to about the 34 yard line. He's going to be close to a first down. I think he's going to be short by about a yard. Third down and less than one. He's flipped at Gatehouse. Wide to the near side of the field. Third and one. Big play for the Cats on defense, and uh, they're going to be guilty of offsides, or was he drawn off? I think it's. Now, I feel I formation. Novak sets him down. Long count this time. Andy Knox to the tailback. Shepko boots under one man. He gets across the 40 to about the 22 yard line. Bill Price came up to the popping pretty good there at the 42 yard line. Shot there and put the ball in the air. Any of them will pop down. But coming down to the two and a half minute mark, I think they're going to play a pretty conservative one. Second and seven at the 42 yard line. Slim setbacks this time. One wide receiver. I don't think this is going to throw on the device. Shepko getting some running room. Spinning out across the 45 to the 49 yard line for a first down. Inside two minutes here in the ball game. First and 10 at just shy of the 49 yard line of Lafayette. Novak with the give. This is Fruhan out across midfield down to about the Davison 49 yard line. And uh, we have a timeout called on the field. Uh, it's getting close. 145 left to play in the ball game. Davison trailing 14 to nothing to this uh, resurgent Lafayette football team. Randy, second and eight at the 49 yard line of Davison. Novak on the long count, quick pitch this time. Shepko off the right side, or Shepko, I should say, goes to the 46 yard line. Joe Pavlicek came up to uh, make the stop on the play. Going to bring up, this is the play of the game right here for the defense. Third down, and let's have it about to, uh, let's see, five. Third and long, four, third and five at the 46 yard line. So they've got to uh, dig in right now. 120 to go, the clock running. Davidson still has, I believe, one timeout left. The one play if you can get the ball back. High formation. Bob Cap is that five man front. Here's Novak looking to throw. He's going to be hit. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm sorry. They want the clock wrong. Okay. No, they're not going to punch ball. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. They just hit somebody real deep. Okay, you're right. They're going to fall on it. Jim Fluhan, the fullback, is about 10 yards back behind the quarterback, Novak, just in case of fumble. Right. Yeah. Roughing, of course, uh, is an automatic first down, but... Uh, for a minute there, it looks like we might see something real strange. I don't think even Bill Russo is going to be that, uh, <laughs> that plan. Okay, what kind of offense is for me should that West for get it? Inside, three to check up offense is what it amounts to. Inside, 30 seconds to go, and Novak's uh, sure going to foul out of the game here. Second and 12, and he does. Penalty markers go down. That stops the clock with 17 seconds to go, and they took too much time. Well, they're not going to worry about that five yards. They're beating 14 to 7. And buying some unforeseen event, David's record got to fall to what, uh, one and two on the season. And 17 at the 46 yard line. Novak is, all he's got to do is fall on it for this one more time. And that's, uh, I don't think Davidson, I believe they are out of timeout. That's uh, going to be the end of the ball game. Inside 10 seconds, you know, Lafayette a winner this afternoon over the Wildcats, 14 to 7. Good ball game. The Wildcats couldn't punch it in. They have fourth and three, and the Lafayette defense taking up in the way from them. They held a uh, fourth and three at the five-yard line with about, what, four minutes to go in the ball game. So that's it. Rich is here this afternoon. Yeah. It's a hard act to follow. Gas water heating for half the cost. And with water heating being your second biggest energy user, these savings really add up. to spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder. And you have no reason to hurt Louis Yosuda. We're at an honest standoff. Go ahead and make the call. All right, I, I trust you, Barney. Oh. No. Well, let's see. Do you have a daughter? Right, three years old. She'll soon be able to lock herself up in there as well. It's just a matter of time. Will your jury be composed of women? Women and homosexuals. We are not prejudiced. I suppose you know how outrageous this is to men the world over. I don't understand what you're saying. We're reversing the role, that's all. How about masturbation? Pardon? I can't hear you. But it's nothing more than a substitute, is it? I'm sure love's not simply a question of penetration. What do you think you'll look like, the last romantic lover? For me, a mixture of Romeo, Casanova, Valentino, and Warren Beatty. For you, the materialization of your wildest dreams. You think you'll have enough contestants? Oh, I hope so. If not, too bad for them. The lucky winner will get $30,000. All the finalists will get a 10-day vacation. They will win a vacation for two. That includes all expenses. And with the obligation on our part to furnish each finalist with the soulmate of his choice. And what if you don't succeed in finding this extraordinary example of a race which you believe to be doomed to extinction? Oh, that'd be a pity. Excuse me? I think that'd be a pity, dear. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, madam. We'll be given all the help that's necessary. Television, radio, news, all the media. I'm sure we'll track him down wherever he is. Friends, now the time has come to test your imagination. Try to picture how he'll look, our last romantic lover. All right, let's go. <laughs> Let's get your paper here, Francois. The last one. No, 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 no. It must come off. No. Yes. Mustache is out of style, Pierre. Off it comes. Yeah, but what if you're wrong? Look, don't worry. I've never been wrong, Pierre. Ask Valentine. Come on, yeah. Max. Don't move. Trim away. Easy, Blanco, easy. The razor. Oh, no. Not the razor. Oh. We're not there yet, men. We're not there yet. Teresa. 
the sideburns. What if we made him wrong? Come on, no. You see, gentlemen, before blood. It doesn't cost anything to try. Come on. Come on, give it a try. It might make all the difference, I'm Pierre. I'm not tying my hair. Pierre! <laughs> 